Hello, it's Steve here again from the Studio One Soapbox and in today's video I want to take a look at basic editing within Studio One. Now in the old days all we had was 8 tools of the trade. Uh, these were located across the top here in the bar starting at 1, the arrow tool, to number 8 was our listen tool and that's all we had, 8 tools. But uh, in recent upgrades I'm glad to say that with this little icon, if we click that on, we now have a smart tool and thank you so much Personas for that because everybody we were all crying out for it and we all know that we were uh, because editing needs to be swift needs to be efficient uh, as time is money and you just want to get on with things get your editing done and get on with uh, doing your mix but firstly what I'll do is take a look at each of the eight tools that we originally had and give a quick explanation as to each one did so first up we have the arrow tool. Uh, you could control these by using the number keys across the top of your keypad, numbers one, or you can just click on them with the mouse. Uh, so first up, let me draw this out a bit just so we can see a bit better. Uh, we have the arrow tool. Now the arrow tool's basic functions are for moving and resizing. So we can click, we can select different tracks, uh, we can hold our mouse down and we can move it. We can resize it by dragging in the ends. Uh, we can also control doing our fades. Um, if I go to the scale, zoom in a little, uh, and grab this little um, triangle in the corner, it controls our fades. There's our fade in the type of fade in we want. Control Z gets us out of that. Um, let's zoom back out again. Uh, we have our fade out. Same thing again. Control the type of fade out we want. And the all important little box in the middle here um, which controls our clip gain or event gain as clips are called in Persona's world. Um, so if I solo this kick and uh, get it playing now the beauty of this clip gain, as I lower it, or as I higher it, uh, is that it is pre-fader. And that is excellent when it comes to helping with gain staging, especially if you've dragged in uh, drum tracks as we have here, uh, maybe you've been sent the stems, and you want to set up gain staging before it hits your fader and you do further processing. So very handy for that. And basically that is uh, the arrow tool. Uh, number two, next up, is the range tool. Uh, Self-explanatory for selecting ranges, either on a single track or click and drag over multiple tracks. Or if we hold down the shift key, we can select just certain regions. If we hold down the alt key, we can select those regions across multiple tracks or we can deselect using the Alt key. There we go, very handy. And that's basically our range tool. Uh, third, our split tool, where we can, let me zoom in a bit more just so that you can see. So we want to split that track, just click once, and uh, back to our tool. You can see we've now split that audio. Um, our eraser tool after that, is basically just for deleting events. There you go. Control Z, bring those back. Uh, our paint tool. Um, a paint tool in the manual it says is used for um, instrument tracks. So if we create a new instrument track, um, come down here please, uh, and it says it's for creating um, blank uh, parts on instrument tracks. So I suppose you could draw in, you could draw in one to four, say you only want to add a bit of MIDI on certain parts, and you could manually add your MIDI in on the piano roll or using the instrument you have. But I find mostly I would use the paint tool to draw in my loop. If I go across here, you see it turns to a pencil, and say we wanted to loop that section there, and uh, we can adjust it, say we want to loop from bar seven to 17, uh, we turn on our loop and there we go. 
that's basically what I would use it mostly for. Okay, uh, next up we have the new two. So, if I take off that, say we have the drums for them. And we don't want to hear the kick. We don't want to hear overheads. We just click, take out our hi hat. Now we've just got our snare top and bottom. So that's basically our new tool. Our Ben Marker tool uh, comes with uh, tabbing the transients and time shifting our audio. Um, I'll not get into that too much as that would be a full video on its own, uh, which we'll do later in the And finally, we have a tool. So say um, you were working on this bit of video and you wanted to hear it, just hold the mouse. Okay. Even if you were auditioning tracks, if you had loads of tracks, you want to know what they were. So that's the kick, snare bottom, overhead left, right. Really handy for auditioning a bit of audio or something that you just edited. Excellent. So basically that's your listen to. And lastly, but not leastly, we have our smart tool. I can't thank Personas enough for introducing this into Studio One as editing without it in the past was nothing but a pain. So now that we have it, uh, let's just click on this little icon and that is the Smart Tool activated. And if we see on the bottom half, if we go to our kick here, on the bottom half, we have our R tool. So I can resize, I can do our little fades, um, do our clip again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but if we move on our top half, it's our range tool. If hold down shift, we can select multiple ranges. Uh, we can move. Uh, we can select a range, say we want it from bar 9 to bar 17. If we just double click, we don't need to get our split tool. There's its split. I can fade in and out. I can do drop even the clip. Say I want that section to be um, slightly lower. Um, control Z. Get back out of that. And also a new feature. If we hold Alt and Shift, we have a little magnifying glass. So say for instance, um, we wanted to work on this snare and we can't see it too well. The snare top, we'll say. Let's highlight that section. Boom. We're in. Go to the top, let's select that. If we hit the tab key, tab to transient. If we hold the shift and the tab, boom, there is that transient. Say we want to um, cut that section out and edit it. Double click, there's it cut. I can reduce that right down. I can go back, uh, listen to that. And we can restore that, restore that, control Z. Uh, once we're done with our edit, boom, we're back. So holding Alt and Shift, we can zoom in. We could zoom in again if we need to. And using our tab key, we can tab to our transients. We can hold the Shift and the tab and select multiple transients. I mean, you can simply just fly around Hold our Alt, Shift, double click, and we're back to where we were. I mean, it can't be any easier than that. Um, editing in Studio One, you can fly at maximum light speed uh, with great ease. Now we have the Smart Tool. Um, and that basically concludes our little look at editing today. Um, that's our eight tools, our arrow tool, range tool, split tool, uh, eraser tool, paint tool, mute tool, Band tool, which uh, I need to do a video on its own when we're talking about transients and uh, moving timing and stuff like that, and adding band markers, etc. etc. And finally, our listen tool, which is accent as well. And just before I go, I should point out if we see this little arrow, we click down below, we can choose a secondary alternative tool, which is controlled by the control key. So, for instance, if I choose our listen tool. And I come across here on the top, 
uh, half, as you can see, we have our range tool on the bottom. We have our arrow key. And if I hold down control, lo and behold, we have our listen key. So that's a very handy feature. So you can have three different tools all working at once uh, and accent. As you can see, you can just simply fly around in Studio One doing your editing now. It's fantastic. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you found that useful. Um, I know there's a lot of modifier keys as well that are thrown in there. And I will put wee links to it uh, if you check out the blog as well. So thanks for joining me. Happy mixing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.